Good morning, guys. Today we're going to talk about sunshine and why it's important for plants. So I have this picture that I'm going to be showing the whole time to kind of help me explain it a little bit better. So here's a picture of my plant. And this is a picture of my sunshine and these yellow arrows right here. This You can't really see the sunshine shining on things in really true life, but it's just showing you that the sunshine shines down on the leaves, on the plant's green leaves. And the reason why that's important is because when the sunshine shines down on the green leaves, it helps the plant do a couple of things. So number one, the sunshine, when it touches the plant's leaves, it's called, this is a big word, photosynthesis. And what that big word means is that the sunshine helps the plant's leaves create food for the plant. Now get this, this is crazy. The plant's food is sugar. Ooh, that's all it eats and it's healthy for the plant. It's a, it's a different kind of sugar. It's called, this is the word right here. It's called glucose, but it's a kind of sugar that the plant eats and that's what it uses for its food. When the plant does photosynthesis and makes its glucose for it to eat, it does something else too. And this is something that I bet that you never ever knew before. Are you ready? It helps the plant to breathe. <gasps> Give me a thumbs up if you already knew that before and a thumbs down if you never knew that plants could breathe before. That's pretty cool, huh? Plants can breathe, but they breathe something different than us. So when we breathe in air, the science word for air is oxygen. That's what it's, that's like the big word for it. Its name is, the air's name is oxygen. And that's what we breathe in. The plant breathes in something different. The plant breathes in something called carbon dioxide. That's just air for plants. But get this, this is crazy. When the plant breathes in, it breathes in plant air. And when it breathes out, it breathes out oxygen, which is people air. That's what we breathe out. So the plant, if it did not get its sunshine and water and soil to help it grow, did you know we would not have oxygen to breathe? We would not be able to breathe and have air, that fancy science word, oxygen if the plants did not have all of those things to help them grow. And here's something cool. The plants could not grow without us either because remember, the special plant air is called carbon dioxide. And guess what? We're the exact flip-flop opposite from plants because we breathe in the oxygen air. And when we breathe out, we breathe out the carbon dioxide air that the plant needs. So when we are breathing, that's helping the plants grow. And when the plants are breathing and breathing out the oxygen, that's helping us to grow and be alive. So that's really cool, huh? I have one more thing that plants need to grow healthy. And it's something that I didn't make a whole lesson for because it's just a little teeny tiny thing. The other thing that plants need to grow is space to grow. Because, do you think, like, here's my pot. Do you think if I planted a tree in this pot, do you think it would be able to grow? No way, because that pot is way too small. The tree's roots wouldn't be able to grow big and long and strong to hold it up. So, the last thing that a plant needs to grow is space. So, I'm going to show you a picture of what happens if we don't have space when our plants grow. So, this is a picture of my garden. And this is a picture, someone planted the carrots and they put, do you see how much space there's between them? They put lots of space between them to grow. So the roots had lots of room to grow out and down and big and strong. And the stronger the roots and the bigger the roots, the bigger the plant can grow and the roots can still hold it in the ground, and make it stable in the dirt, right? We learned about that the first day. So that's this garden, they're really spaced out. They have lots of room for their roots to grow. But in this garden, they didn't really space them out. They just kind of threw the seeds down and said, well, I want lots of carrots to grow. So I'm putting all of the seeds here, even if there's not really that much room. So their carrots still grew and there's 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They got lots of carrots to grow, but look, these carrots over here, look how much smaller they are than these carrots. They didn't grow all the way into big carrots that they were supposed to. They could only grow a little bit, and then they had to stop growing because they didn't have room to grow anymore. So that's why it's important to have space where you are growing plants. That's why we talked about the word transplant. That means taking a plant maybe from like this small pot where it can't grow very good and then saying, okay, you're starting to grow kind of big. I'm going to take you out of here and put you into a bigger pot or into the ground outside so your roots have more room to grow. And that is our last lesson on plants. We learned about why they needed soil and water and sunlight and oxygen, air, and space to grow. Next week, we are done with plants. I think, let me look at my calendar. Yeah, next week we are done with plants. Last Next week is our last week of school, so we're going to be reading a book about school or getting ready for kindergarten every day to celebrate school being done with and some of our friends moving on to kindergarten. Okay, I'll see you guys next week.